is 8 a.m. on travel day. Um, I am just about to feed Willow and I am like wondering if that's a smart idea or not, but she's only having two patties. Um, our flight is not until one, but we are leaving for the airport at 10 a.m. because it's gonna take us about 40 minutes to get there and I have to check Willow in, pay for her as a pet, and then go through security with her. So I just want to be there early so I'm not stressing about it. Um, but yeah, so it, usually if we have an earlier flight, I don't feed Willow because I don't want her to have an accident in her carrier or walking around or whatever. But today she's gonna be in her carrier for the most part. I think it'll be fine if she eats a little bit. And our flight is like midday so I don't wanna make her wait. So yeah, I'm gonna feed her and hopefully she doesn't poop on the plane. Okay. Sit. Wait. Okay. All right, it is 8.30. I have the majority of my stuff packed. Um, I just want to show you really quick what I'm bringing for Willow for this trip. We are going for five days, so she's going to need five meals. Um, yeah, so let me show you what I'm bringing for her, and then I can pack that stuff up and get everything going. All right, so Willow is going to be having some of her stuff in her in my suitcase, and then I also have this bag for her full of her stuff. I usually just designate this bag for her, but since it's going to be snowing, I'm bringing some warm clothing for her. Bringing this cute um, Maxine Mad Max Fluffy Road sweatshirt because it's super cute. Um, a snow coat. I'm going to bring three of these little snow vests just to switch up the outfits because I'm extra like that. This one is a Carhartt one. I just got it. I'm super excited about it. It has a little collar. Like a little, not a dog collar, but a little collar collar. So excited about her clothing options. Um, and then I have a fresh bag of treats. Recall reasons. Um, I'm bringing like just two bandanas that are kind of snowy looking. I have her treat bag for when we go out on adventures and there's a ball in it too. All of her multivitamins for the trip are in this baggie. Rex specs probably just for fun, but like if it's blizzarding, she can wear that. This is her favorite ball. It's a big squeaky ball. So I'm bringing that. I hope we don't lose it. This is going to be enough food for the whole trip. I literally counted every patty and then put in some extra just in case. I have a brush for her and I'm actually also gonna throw in some grooming stuff just because I didn't have time to groom her. So I just wanna bring some stuff so I can do it. Um, since we're going to the snow, some paw butter to keep her paws fresh. And then this paw bomb is supposed to protect them from snow. So um, I would put this on before we go out in the snow and then this one on after. And, oh, lots of extra poop bags because I always forget them. So I've got some in these pockets. So yeah, hopefully we're prepared. I'm not really overdoing it, but I think we have enough. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> Are we ready to go on vacation? Huh? I want to go on an airplane. <laughs> we are all packed up, getting ready to leave. <laughs> My code is 456. You just told everybody on YouTube I your know code. You're still <laughs> All of my thousands of followers. Yeah. Just kidding. Don't get in my suitcase. Are you ready, Nug? You're coming. Oh, too bad we can't. Look how sick this would be. Yeah, I know. 
one time we went on vacation without Willow when we went to Nashville uh -huh. and it like broke Willow's heart. So then when we were going to San Diego, she like ran outside in the garage because she saw me taking my suitcase out to the car and she didn't want me to leave without her. Yeah. Oh, well, but she's doing good right now though. So we got to the airport for our trip about two, two and a half hours early and we had to park our car and ride the tram up to the airport. Yeah. We are at the airport and I have to pee so bad, but we're waiting for our tram and I'm super excited. We had to take all elevators, which is always annoying with a dog, but do not let your dogs ride on an escalator. Like the last time we went to the airport, a dog's foot had gotten like caught in the top of an escalator and it is just, don't even risk it, don't do it. <laughs> so we were taking elevators, we got down to the check-in area and I let Willow walk until we got into line and I just put her in her carrier on top of my luggage. Willow's insisting on sitting with me for some reason. But um, I left the top open and <laughs> Willow looks really big in her carrier. Like she can curl up like a little croissant or like a little, I don't even know what else to call it. But she curls up and she fits in the carrier perfectly fine and it doesn't bother her. But when I was checking Willow in, the lady at the counter who put Willow on my reservation was like, um, she looks a little big for that carrier. And I said, oh no, she fits, she's fine. And she's like, well, she looks kind of big. Has she traveled in it before? And I said, yes, which was a lie, but like, what are you gonna do? And she was like, okay. And she made me pay $95 and it was fine. She put Willow on my ticket. Um, I'm going to do a more detailed video about traveling with pets now that ESAs are banned because Willow was my emotional support animal and now she is not. She has to travel as a pet because ESAs were pretty much banned by all airlines and your dog has to be in a carrier and you have to pay the airline's pet fee. So if your dog is bigger than let's say 30 pounds and that's really already pushing the limit, um, your dog pretty much cannot fly with you. So it really sucks. It's a huge bummer but I will be doing a more in-depth video about that. I kept Willow in her suitcase the whole time, but on the way back, I just let her walk through the whole airport. And I think it just depends on the airport and the people that you encounter. Um, we didn't have any problems with it at Phoenix Sky Harbor or at the Salt Lake City Airport, and I saw a lot of other people doing it, so that's kind of why I decided to let Willow walk. Um, and then when you go through security, you have to put the carrier through the uh, screening thing the x-ray machine and you have to walk through with your dog so what you're gonna do is you put all of your stuff in the bins and your suitcase the carrier your dog's leash collar everything and then I hold Willow carry her through those smaller little x-ray um, scanner and then I put Willow between my legs and kind of hold her with my calves in between my legs and they're gonna do a hand swab just to check for substances I guess and then once they clear you, you're free to go. I put Willow's stuff back on her. Um, you can either put your dog back into the carrier or have them walk to your gate. Check out this pet relief area. It's the biggest one I've ever been in. It's super cool. And then we went and found a place to get drinks and lunch because we were there early and we needed some drinks to help the nerves. Boarding the plane is a little tricky. As the pet owner, you can only have two of your personal belongings. So your dog carrier counts as one of your belongings and then like let's say your purse or your carry-on suitcase counts as your second belonging. So I had my dog, my carry-on, and a backpack, and my sister just had her purse. So I had my sister carry, her, carry my backpack for me, um, so that was her two items, and I would literally not be able to travel with Willow like this without help. So it is super nice to have somebody there to help you get through all of this. Um, so I was pushing her on my suitcase, but the carrier is 
a lot bigger than my little carry-on suitcase so it was hard to keep willow on top of the suitcase and in her carrier and you know it was really awkward but we got through i put willow's carrier down on the row seats put my suitcase up in the bin and then shoved her into the seat area under the seat where she's supposed to go flight attendant was helpful and she was like oh this middle spot looks like a good spot for your dog carrier it looks like it'll fit there so i did that and on our way home i also chose a middle seat i'm not sure if they have bigger leg room or <laughs> or what our flight was only an hour and 90 minutes from gate to gate so it was really short she was really good if she did whine i didn't hear it because the planes are really loud um, but I don't think she whined. I think she just laid down and took a nap and she was a really good girl. And then once we landed, we got picked up by my cousin, Paige, who we were staying with. Um, she has a dog named Rora. She is an Australian Shepherd, uh, German Shepherd mix. And we went straight to this really cute park that had like hills and a bunch of trees and the weather was beautiful and the dogs played and Lilo got to like really run off all of her energy and nerves and whatever she was holding on to from the flight. Then that night we stayed at my cousin's house in her studio apartment, which was in Salt Lake City. And we just went out to dinner, went to this cute little like dive bar with darts and pool and stuff and we went back home and the next day we went to park city which was where all the snow was and it was super awesome we are in utah we are staying in park city currently and we are staying at this cute little airbnb and it is snowing i don't know if you can tell but it's really snowing right now This is Rora. Hi, you're covered in snow. Hey. Oh yeah. Got the snow, I'm all wet. Arizona girl in the snow. Hit the ball. Go get the ball. Go get it. Go get it, Willow! Go get the ball! Get the ball, Willow! Get it! Willow! Get it! Get the ball! Get the ball! Get it! Get it! Cutie pie. My feet are frozen. Aren't your feet frozen? Best part about our Airbnb is definitely the hot tub with a view. Could not be happier than this moment right here. The second day was definitely my favorite day. I got up, I went and got in the jacuzzi and just like sat and listened to music in the jacuzzi while it snowed, let Willow play outside. And then once everybody was up, we went for a walk around the little community that we were staying in and it was snowing so hard. And I think that was just my favorite Holy moment. Crap.
Willow. Come here. This looks beautiful. <laughs> we are about to head out of our first Airbnb, checking into new Airbnb, but I just wanted to give you guys a, cu a quick little tour of this place. It's so cute and I really loved it. I would have seen it. I would have seen it. So this is the living room, kitchen. Are we starting this? Uh, is that what the instructions say? You've got the hallway, cute little work area. Bathroom and the bedroom. And this room is actually really cool because, well, first of all, it has the TV, which I love, but it has like two bedroom sections in here basically that has a TV too but these bunk beds are so cute and this is where I slept it was super comfy and I'm gonna miss this place oh where's my dog you wanna come in your daughter was not having it well come come on come in no you're not sure so we just got to our next Airbnb. It is super cute. I'm going to do a walkthrough. Really? Wow, this place is super cute. All right. Sorry, I ruined the vlog. No. It's kind of like a tower. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, no, Willow, do not go outside. So you walk in, and it's a little messy because we just moved our stuff in, but. And this is rented by Vacasa, which is really a really awesome Airbnb like management company. But. Um, wow. Cute little vintage fridge. Dining room. Love the exposed brick and the beams. Oh my God. Kitchen is adorable. I like really love the aesthetic of this house so much. So this house is in Salt Lake City. Um, the other place is Park City. But this is uh, in the Sugar House neighborhood, which is supposed to be a really cute and upcoming neighborhood. Oh my God, I'm, just, I'm obsessed with the decor here. All right, and then the bathroom is super freaking cute. Where is the light switch? I don't know where the light switch is, but okay. Bathroom. Nice subway tile bath. Very into this. And then we got Nick's room. Very like masculine, bohemian vibes. Yeah. <laughs> and then my room, girly, like bohemian for sure. Super cute. We were aiming to stay at my cousin's little studio apartment tonight, but it's so small and we were like, let's just get a house for tonight and tomorrow. And so we just booked this place last minute. I'm surprised it was available, but it is so cute. So, so cute. Oh, and living room, which is now a mess because we just moved all of our shit in, but. So cute. This place is super cute. So that was our travel to Utah vlog. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it, got a little information about flying with your pets, and if you're liking our vlogs, please like and subscribe to our channel. That would help me out so much. I have a goal of reaching 20,000 subscribers, which is a lot. I'm at like 3,000 right now, I think, but I'm just gonna keep uploading videos that are helpful and interesting and hope to gain more and more subscribers because that is my goal. It would be amazing to reach that by the end of the year, but who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe.